Hey buddies, welcome to Mass Games. My name is Simon. Today I'm going to show you how to set up, play and review the game Bang. Now, if you're watching this on Board Game Arena, hi and welcome. Please, of course, uh, green thumb this video. And if you're watching on YouTube, please thumb it there as well. So this game has sold over 500,000 copies. It's told in basically in Italian and in English. That's because this game is also available in Italian as it's an Italian produced company. I will be giving you a review at the end and also comparing it to other versions of Bang and other such things. And I will be zooming out in due course. So this is a kind of a hidden role kind of game. It's a game involving obviously the Wild West and there are various different roles in play. Some people are trying to help each other. There's somebody who wants to be the last man standing. So you have a number of cards. These are bang cards. And I'll leave these off to one side. And whilst I'm still setting this up, in addition, of course, to liking, please ensure that you have subscribed and, of course, shared and hit the notification bell if you haven't done so already. Aside from that, within YouTube, you can, of course, uh, check out and add descriptions, any comments as well, as well as uh, within that description, you can follow via Instagram for various things such as, uh, of course, the latest uh, video, the latest things that I'm actually demonstrating on Instagram, so follow there. And uh, finally, you can, of course, support the channel via Patreon. And aside from that, there's some other information which you can do, which is if you go over to the playlist, you can see various other videos as well, such as Board Game Arena videos, and aside from Board Game Arena, loads of other things such as all these how to set up, play and review. So here are the rules for a bang, we won't need to show that, I'll be telling you the game. Everyone is going to take a player board. So what we're going to do is lay one out, and everyone else is going to have one too. And for the time being, I'll just lay one over here. Let's say we do a bit of a, a, bit of a shine going on there. Let's leave that bit more out of shot. Another person can be over here. And let's have somebody else in, let's say, this corner. So it does play quite a few number of players. It can play up to seven. And uh, everyone's going to take bullets equal to, depending on who they are. And that's where we're going to talk about the various characters you can be. So before we do that, let's talk about these various other roles that you can be. Depending on the amount of players, you can have certain roles that's going to be there. If you happen to be the sheriff, there's always going to be a sheriff, you must eliminate all the outlaws and the renegade to protect law and order. If you happen to be an outlaw, they want to just kill the sheriff, and uh, well, basically they have no scruples about eliminating each other to gain their rewards. So there's other sheriffs, sorry, other outlaws, just take out the other outlaws, but of course you want to win by destroying that sheriff. If you happen to be a deputy, they can help and protect the sheriff and they share the same goal at all costs to try and help the sheriff. So you're trying to always help them. Okay, finally we have the renegade. What they want to do is they want to be the new sheriff and their goal is to be the last character in play. Now I must admit, um, of course that's a man there, every role in the rule book does refer to he, but in my view, male or female, you can have a male sheriff, female sheriff, etc. It doesn't matter which uh, period in time we're talking about. So it's an ages eight plus game, and ultimately it's gonna be the sheriff to start. But what we're gonna do initially is actually take some certain roles and shuffle them in. So for example, in a four player game, we've got four mats out. I do recommend it a higher player count. You take one sheriff, you take one renegade. And in this instance, you're not playing with a deputy. You're gonna be playing with two outlaws. So they have two outlaws in here. And as you can see, it's in Italian as well. You're gonna shuffle them up, deal them out. So everyone's gonna take a role. Now, of course, I'm playing this blind, but we're happening to be playing whoever the, the sheriff is first. So I'll just switch these around for the time being. And of course, we know these are both outlaws. So the sheriff reveals, they do not reveal. So these would have been hidden. And what you're looking to do is, like I said, you're trying to take out everybody else. The renegade is trying to be the last person standing. So maybe they could pretend to be a deputy, assuming, of course, like I said, it's better at higher player counts. The deputy kicks in at five player plus. They're gonna try and pretend to be that deputy and the first thing, of course, as I said, if the sheriff starts, they're going to be drawing two cards. So two cards will be drawn. But initially, before all of that starts, everyone's going to be given a card face down. That's something they can use initially just to work with whatever they're going to be doing. OK, so let's crack on with what we're doing. So these are these two cards that everyone's getting. Apologies for that. That's actually the starting cards. You're going to have two cards and we're going to look at these two cards. So this is what I can be doing initially. I have my Colt. Everybody has their starting card. Everyone starts the Colt 45. It has a range of one. That means I can only hit these two people here. I can't hit this person here. So sometimes you're forced. And also you're going to take some out of bullets depending on whichever character you might be. But everyone happens to take five bullets in this case. So we've got our bullets in play. And uh, this is what I'm going to be doing. Apologies. Everyone can take a little starting reader card as well if they want to. Uh, we also need to be handing out our characters. So shuffle them up. Everyone's going to take a character each. 
That's who I am. I happen to be Blackjack. That's why I have four bullets. And he shows the second card he draws. On hearts or diamonds, he draws one more card. So now it's my first turn. I draw two cards. They don't have anything relevant. So um, whenever you... Uh, he shows the second card. Okay, so that was the second card I drew. I had to show that card out, obviously out loud so everyone can see it. It isn't relevant, but everyone now knows I've got this. This happens to be cards that protect me from people trying to fire at me. So right now, I don't need to play any cards. You can play any number, but right now I'm not playing any. And you can discard excess cards. Okay, let's talk about that. So like I said, you draw two cards from the draw pile. That's over here. And as soon as you do that draw pile is empty, you just shuffle it and play it again. Of course, with Blake and Borg and Marina, don't worry about that. And then you're playing any number of cards. Like I said, I'm not playing any. Let's just say other kind of cards that are in here. So we've got more missed cards. We've got more missed cards. These were shuffled. And there are other cards I can play, so I can start targeting certain players. I can get extra bullets. Bullets are your life. You can actually have beer cards, like I said. You can do other things. You can start shooting people. You can start hitting people from further away. You can start making people discard cards and maybe draw cards and things like that. So let's talk about these various types of cards. You've obviously got green, um, brown cards. You've got blue cards. So the brown border cards are put, are paid basically directly by putting them directly into that discard pile and applying the effect shown. If it's a blue border card, as you can imagine, being something like a weapon, it's going to come down here. And uh, yeah, it's going to be placed in front of you, hence the definition in play. So uh, they are obviously played until they're discarded. And that final thing about discarding is discarding excess cards. Once uh, that second phase, which is playing any number of cards, has been done, you always draw down to your hand limit. And that's equal to our bullets. So you're going to get weaker and weaker as the game goes on if you start losing some of those bullets. Now, I've talked about distance, of course, that range is something to be aware of. And the game ends, like I said, when the sheriff is killed, for example. If so, the renegade is the only one alive, then they, of course, will win. Otherwise, the outlaws win. If all the outlaws and the renegade are killed, then that sheriff and, of course, any deputies in play will also be the winner. So that kind of covers everything off. Everyone's given, obviously, a certain type of character. They're then given a certain kind of uh, role, which, of course, is different. It's a bit of a hard thing to articulate. But, of course, you have to be aware of those two different things. You have characters, and then, of course, you have the roles. Roles are these, characters are these, and aim of the game is, again, to be that last person standing. Of course, in the sheriff with the deputy, well, it's more than one. You could have two outlaws, but again, you're still trying to fight each other to take that victory. So there is play elimination, and for some people, um, that isn't a nice thing to have. There are other variants of the game. So in particular, there's the dice version. I prefer the dice version. This version is fine. It's good. I give the game a 6 out of 10, this particular version. I prefer the dice version. I give a 7 out of 10. I've played this game 11 times, this particular version. I play the dice version more. I just like the more chaoticness of it. It seems to really click and flow. I've played various editions. I've played it in like bullet tins, which is very nice. And it's nice to see it on Board Game Arena. I haven't enjoyed it too much on Board Game Arena, to be honest. Not sure why that is. It just doesn't seem to, pardon the pun, click for me. But that has been a quick overview for the game Bang. Now, there are many different character cards. So lots of variety in who you wish to be. So that's quite nice as well. I do find some of the situations are a bit too, uh, bizarrely, too lucky, even though it seems to work better with dice. I just don't know why. I think I've just eliminated the stuff that you are drawing certain things. I mean, the art looks very nice in these. These are these are flimsy, but they still have a fair amount of rigidity to them. The cards in themselves are actually quite firm, and they have a linen finish as well, although not a, a thick, plastically linen finish. Not that I, I'm against that. Have I, have I, of course, having noticed it, a uh, thinner finish is actually better, I've noticed. So you do have these little player aids as well, because there's a fair amount of symbology to go for. And because it was an Italian first, you are having to read the Italian first before you do anything else. That is something to be aware of. So that has been Bang. You've been watching this, hopefully, or maybe on Board Game Arena, and enjoying it there. Of course, there's many other games to check out, and hopefully you'll find something else of interest to the channel. As you see, I've been a bit stilted in this particular video. Apologies for that. Uh, aside from that, I hopefully you will enjoy everything else that is on the channel, like I said, on those playlists as well. If you have any other questions, like I said, please do check out your comments. Let me know your views on how you found the game, either digitally or in person. And do you prefer, of course, that dice version as well? Have you played it with that tin? Have you played it in Italian? I'm guessing there's obviously the spaghetti western element as well. But if you want to go to a spaghetti western location, I highly recommend going to Tabernas in Spain where I've been, and that's a fantastic experience. So that's been Bang. Thanks for watching.